How's it going guys? Thank you for checking my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a continuation and a little bit more of a clarity towards the video that I made about a year ago on how to be able to get declone to spawn quick in game, if not immediately in game. I had someone comment on that video asking for a little bit of a guide and how to be able to change the item itself that is sold to the merchants to be able to get him to spawn in game. Being that you actually watch this, I got it to work. But there are three disclaimers in this video and the very first one I'm gonna make right here is this is going to be a guide on how to be able to change the item so that way if you're interested in controlling when Diablo clone spawns, this is the video for you. However, if for example you don't want to change what is actually sold, maybe you just don't have an abundance of SOJs laying around, you just haven't been able to run Andy a thousand times to be able to try to maybe get one, but in all seriousness, if you are trying to just get him to spawn like this, and you don't wanna worry about what is sold at all because the video in the corner, the original video that this uh, comment came from, that video is for you. So please go make sure to check that out. There are timestamps in that video so you can go to the part that just interests you most. But the difference between this video and that video, if you're wanting to control when he spawns, this is the video for you. So for example, if you're doing runs and you have a particular path that you like to go and maybe you wanna get deep to spawn, a little bit later in your runs or you want them to get uh, spawned at the very beginning and you want to change what is sold from an SOJ to like an L rune, which worked for me. This is going to be the video for you. But if you don't want to even worry about changing what is actually sold at all, because it doesn't even matter. You don't have to sell anything and you can get him to spawn just like this. You want to check out that video because that is going to be the video that actually helps you with that because you will change two numbers, the minimum and the maximum from 75 to uh, one and then the maximum of 125 to one. What that does is the instant that you open the game, the instant you open the game, and there's timestamps in this video too, so you can skip this part if you want to, but as soon as you open the game, it's going to autofill the exact amount that was needed to be able to get the clone to spawn and he's going to spawn as soon as your character shows up. So if that's the technique that you're looking for and you don't have to worry about changing the item itself at all, again, that's the video. Controlling when he spawns, this is your video. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Not even death can save you from me. Greetings, mortals. I knew you would find your way back here. This next part is really important to understand for people that are on PC. And I'm certain the person who left the comment is probably using a PC as well. I am using a MacBook, but because I'm using porting kit to be able to play this game, because I had to add Pluggy to be able to have the mod and it would not allow me to do that with my MacBook without some kind of way to be able to do so and have a Windows type of file on there, I'm using a porting kit. And that doesn't change the idea of how you will be able to change the files for Pluggy. And for anybody that's watching this from Diablo 2 Resurrected, I'm sorry you guys are SOL for this. There's no way to be able to change the Uber Diablo uh, game files. But for Pluggy, this is gonna work for that. So your guys' route to finding these files might be different. However, the files are still gonna be the exact same regardless if you are using a porting kit or whatever other software you can with Pluggy on a MacBook or if you're just doing this traditionally with a PC. Now, what we're gonna do is, however you can get to it, for you guys, on PC, there's a search on the very bottom or on the top, wherever it is, and you could just type in pluggy.ini. We're gonna try to find that file. So we're gonna go, for example, me, it's drive C, Diablo 2. I have two locations for it, just like I explained in the last video. So my first one is mod.pluggy. So when I open it, here is that file. And then my second one is in the actual pluggy file, and it's right here. Some people have one pluggy.ini file, and then I've seen online someone said that they had three. Regardless of the amount that you have, the files all have to be the exact same for this to work. And we're gonna change the item that's sold to an L room. So let's go ahead and I'll just, because I'm already here, we'll start with this one. So you're gonna do however you can to open it to be uh, readable. So for example, mine's just text edit, and then we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna find it, it's just a little far, here we go. So items, to sell the Stone of Jordan. You wanna find the actual game uh, code for example, I'm gonna use an L rune, so it's gonna be R01. In the previous video, 
it was shown that a super health potion is H5. It could potentially be H05 as well, because I tried H5 earlier and it didn't work, but an Elrune actually did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, you're gonna take out just where it says the Zone of Jordan, and you're gonna put R01. And back out. And if that's the only pluggy to any that you have, you're good to go from here. But for me, I have to change out the other one, so I'm just gonna show on the screen just to, just to uh, make sure to be very clear about that. So let's go ahead, open, text edit. So we're gonna go bottom. And again, it's gonna stay the Stone Jordan, but we're gonna change it to R01. So that means rune one, which is the L rune. So now that we have that fixed, I'm gonna open up the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna open the first character. So you're gonna see at the very top, it still says Stones of Jordan sold to merchants. It's not gonna change the actual text at all, but the game file is changed. So if I was to find or have an SOJ laying around, it's not gonna work. But let's go ahead and grab an Elrune. So it doesn't even matter. So here we go. Go to Larzik. So as you can see, he hasn't spawned at all. But as soon as I go to a vendor, and it doesn't matter what vendor you use, you could use Akara, Charcy, Fara, Ormus, Larzik, Neelithak before he turns bad, it doesn't matter. So again, I'm just gonna show there's nothing that has spawned, he has not spawned at all. So let's go ahead and sell this. So, Elrune, sold. Diablo walks the earth. So that is how you change an item specifically to sell to the merchants to be able to get him to spawn in your game. Now, here's where the other two disclaimers come into play. One, this method might not work for everybody as far as this particular item. It's completely understandable. It's just like when it comes to reviews on certain products, what you might particularly like, someone else will leave a really bad review or just have a bad experience with it. That's why the second part of the disclaimer is, I'm not gonna be able to help with trying to find the right type of game codes for all the items in the game because as you can imagine, there are tons of items in this game, such as you could change it to a mana potion, you could change it to a key, you can change it to bolts and arrows because they just drop abundantly. You could change it to Griffin's Eye, you can change it to Tyrael's Might. Whatever it is that you want to actually change it to with the right game code, there are countless, countless game codes and that is just a lot of work. So for what may work for you, make sure to go hit up Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever it is that allows you to be able to get on the internet to search for things. Try to find the right type of game code for the item that you potentially will be able to sell and hopefully it will be able to work out for you. And that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we're able to get a little bit of a better understanding as to how to be able to change certain game codes to be able to find the right item to be able to sell to the merchants for your D-clone to be able to spawn in your game. And again, this particular item might not work for everybody. However, for those that are able to make it work, I hope you guys have the best of success and I hope the rest of you are able to find what is gonna work for your particular version of Pluggy. Now, if you like this kind of content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out because I will be playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be ignoring Pluggy. I will be playing that as well as playing Diablo 2 Resurrected. However, I'm gonna be trying to focus more on a little bit more of online gameplay with Ladder coming around because I've never played Diablo 2 online, so that's gonna be a lot of fun for me. But if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and take care.